talked about why we're Asiatic, but let me be clear, there's only one race, and that is the human race. However, there are two subdivisions, and they are Asiatic and European. We went over the lesson in regards to why we're Asiatic. We need to know why we're Asiatic people. It is very important to know why. We went over the lesson why we're not black people, why we're not brown, why we're not no bronze people, why our skin is olive. That is very important to know. We are Asiatic because our forefathers originated in Asia. The Garden of Eden is located in Asia. They are there are Asiatics in Europe, but Europeans are Europeans because they originated in Europe. Slide more. So today, I want to make plain a lesson. And it's going to transcend beyond what you see on face value in regards to the lesson. And what I'm talking about is found on page 59 about holding Quran. We're going to make this plan. Chapter 48. We're going to go in. And we're going to do some traveling today. Praise Allah. The end of time and the fulfilling of the prophecies. And I'm going to laser in on instruction number six. This is one of those instructions that if you have not been fully educated in more science, you're a little weird about the lesson. You don't feel comfortable with the lesson. And this is why knowledge of self is paramount. And before I even read the lesson, I'm gonna just camel back with the chin in regards to making a plane in regards to what exactly is Moorish science. Put this on your dial plate, Moors. The Moors were the first people. The term Moor implies original man. So if the Moors were the first people, the first science given to the world is what? Moorish science. Islamism. To understand what Moorish science is, and we have two working definitions, but I, what I'm going to focus on is the broadest definition of Moorish science, because it's not confined to Moorish Americans. But the prophet says Moorish Americans ETC. To understand what Moorish science is, you've got to define science. What is science? Science is science is a system of knowledge. I, I hear you. It's a system of it's a system of knowledge. It's systematic. Okay. The more science we unite science with religion, because they go hand in hand. You unite religion with science because science keeps your religion from going into superstition, and your religion keeps your science from going beyond the bounds of moderation. It's not more. <coughs> so we unite the two. So science, it is a system of knowledge, it's a method. Gain through talk to me. observation. Good. Observation. Study. And what? Experimentation. Good. Carried on to determine the nature. Good. 
Four principles. Good. Of that. Which is being studied. Science is a system of knowledge gained through observation. You gotta observe. You have to pay attention. Study. You must study. You gotta put some work in. If you're searching for the truth, the way to her is what? It's labor. And experimentation. Experimentation means what? You gotta try it out. Why? Because man knows not by being told. If man must know, he must himself what? Be what he knows. In order to be what you know, you gotta experiment. And the example that I love giving is that Allah is such a kind God that he united our duty to our nature that obedience to his precepts is what? Happiness to thyself. It's happiness to thyself. So when you obey divine law, you happy. But I can tell you that all day and all night. If you have not experimented with that and tried it out on, the, on yourself, you don't know. You simply guess. It's not most. So a, part, a major part of the scientific method is experimentation. Carried on to determine the nature or principle of that which is being studied. What's your first degree when you open up your Quran? Know thyself. Know thyself and Allah. As soon as you open up the holy book, that's your first degree. Know thyself and Allah. That is your foundation. If you don't know who you are, you don't have any, you don't have any foundation in which to build upon. That that is that is your your uh, your divine foundation. It is knowledge of self. Some more science. Yes. It is self-knowledge. The study of self which leads towards the conquest of self. Islam moves. You see, studying yourself for a purpose in order to conquer yourself. We have two selves. We have a higher self and we have a lower self. So this is the basis of the lesson that we're going to be going over today. So let's go back to our Quran. And if you don't understand anything that we're going over today, show the sign of Islam, and we'll try our best to, to make it plain for you because I desire for you to own this lesson. It is of the utmost importance that we get this particular lesson. Why? Because this lesson right here is about saving families. And if you desire to save the nation, you got to save your families because the family is the smallest nation. Islam moves. Islam. <coughs> Okay, chapter 48, we're going to go back to chapter 48. And this instruction, it is an instruction of love. But we got to understand the instruction of why it's reading like it's reading. Okay, page 59, instruction 6. It says, we as a clean and pure nation descended from the inhabitants of Africa do not desire to amalgamate or marry into the families of the pale-skinned nations of Europe, neither serve the gods of their religion, because our forefathers are the true and divine founders of the first religious creed for the redemption and salvation of mankind on earth. Slime Islam. You hear that? Yeah. See what the prophet is saying there? That's an instruction of love. And today we're going to delve into the nuances and the science of why we do not desire to amalgamate or marry and to the families of the pale skin nations of Europe. But let me be clear, that does not imply that we don't have any love for the European. Right. <clears throat> the European is a child of Almighty God Allah. So we have the same love that we have for each other. Divine love is the same love that we have for the European. It's not more. But the prophet is giving us an instruction. Yes, 
Remember, in this Quran, this is the Quran, but this is a divine instruction manual. So when a prophet says, we do not desire to amalgamate, that's an instruction. It is not simply an instruction. It is a divine instruction. It's not more. Wow. The prophet is telling us this for a reason. And if you're not balanced, you'll think that is some hate that is involved. You see? Yeah. These are the teachings of the forerunner. Marcus Garvey is John the Baptist come again. He's purity come again. A part of the, that debate between Marcus Garvey and W.E.B. Du Bois, there was a debate in regards to the solution of the Negro problem. You see, the prophet talked about the Negro problem. That was a, a major topic in the early to mid-20s. And W.E.B. Du Bois, his solution to the so-called Negro problem was amalgamation. That's right. But you know what Marcus Garvey called that? He called it racial suicide. That's Marcus Garvey. That's the forerunner. So the prophet of Udrali, now he's giving us some science. And to understand why we don't desire to amalgamate, you have to understand the science of self. You have to have a deep, intimate knowledge of your makeup. I opened up reading the instruction to know thyself for a reason. If you want to raise your thoughts to infinite wisdom, if you want to see omnipotence displayed before you, you got to contemplate your frame. Your frame, though, that, those are the parts, the components that make you who you are. Slime moves. So. going to deal with some intimate components of ourselves and why we don't amalgamate. All right. Now, the keys to understanding is right there in the instruction itself. Instruction six. How does the instruction start out? We, 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 we as a what? Clean and pure nation. Okay? So the prophet starts out. We as a clean and pure nation, when you mix something, it's not clean and pure anymore. You destroy the integrity of whatever, whatever substance that you are mixing with. We as a clean and pure nation. Who are we? We're Moors. We're Asiatic. We're olive people. Okay. Now some people say, well, listen, oh, that, that don't matter. That don't matter. Only unconscious people take that position, this don't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, nationality, why y'all so caught up with nationality? That don't matter. Well, guess what? Everyone else in the world understand, understands the need for nationality. Why not you? Allah cares about nationality. If Allah didn't care about nationality, he wouldn't put it in the book of Allah. Wow. Nationality is divine. So I make the point, we as a clean and pure nation, a clean and pure race, Allah also put that in the book of Allah. So if Allah puts that in the Quran, that means that it matters. And I'm going to show you. Those who have a holy Quran of Mecca, open up your holy Quran of Mecca to... Surah 15, Surah, Surah 15, Ayah 26. Surah 15, Ayah 26. See how Allah made us. Um, chapter 15, we'll start at uh, Ayah 26. And we have, we have the Ayah in regards to Allah creating us in tribes and nations. That's right. So that we may know one another, not despise one another. That's that Allah made us into nations, nations of people. So, na so, so nationality matters. It matters. Listen, and Prophet Muhammad. That was not the issue of his people. 
They knew their nationality. They knew their tribal affiliation. But with our people, we lack knowledge of self. We lack knowledge of self. We lack nationality, so the prophet had to enlighten us about our nationality. Now, relating this to what I just read in the Moorish Holy Quran, we as a clean and pure nation, this matters. So chapter 15, Ayah 26. Can someone please read? Can I read? Yes. Okay. First, I'm about to give praise to Allah and honor to the Son of the one proper, proper, and which we are We created land from sword and clay, from mud, mountain, into shape, <laughs> and the gin Okay, you can stop right there. Praise Allah. Uh, that's, that's the Yusuf Ali translation. And this is another reason why we encourage the Moors to get a Mulana Muhammad Ali translation. One reason why this is the translation that was done during the contemporary Prophet Nubadra Ali in 1917. And Mulana Muhammad Ali, he attempts to translate the Book of Allah without inserting any propaganda. He attempts to translate the word for the word or the word or for the idea, if you will. Because all of the Arabic words, it's not a word, a one word that it can be translated into. It's a, it may be a phrase to give you the idea that's being conveyed in the Book of Allah. But Mulana, he does a wonderful job. Okay, That translation leaves out something very important that Allah mentions. Okay, And the Arabic says, I want you to read next please. The Arabic says, Wallakad kalaknal insana min sal salim, min hama in masnu. You see, Allah used this word in the Quran and the Book of Allah. He used this word in the Book of Allah. The Arabic students know what this word is because this is a had, this is a mean alif. Hama. Hama. That's what that word says. This is what Allah says in the Quran. You see, most of your translations leave this out. And there are many reasons why the translators leave this out. Because they're not considering you. And many of the amalgamated Muslims in the East don't even look at you as Muslims. Even if you say you follow the Sunnah of Rasulullah. I went into a store a few months ago. And there was an amalgamated Muslim in there. He was trying to say that basically the Muslims over here don't know what they're doing. And I, I'm actually defending my brother, one of the imams in the masjid, because they're saying, oh, well, the, the brother, he has pictures on the front of the masjid. Astaghfirullah, he should not be doing that. You're in America. You don't know what you're doing. That's why you got to keep your lower self in check. You encounter thoughts and ideas like that, boys, get a hold of your lower self and understand Man got two selves. I don't care what your nationality is. We all have two selves. I said, brother, your thoughts are wrong. I said, that brother's not doing anything incorrect. I said, he can have pictures. And it's pictures of Muslims, sisters at that. Praise Allah for that. I said, what the brother's doing, it is a blessing to the community, brother. I knew one sister who, who took all of her dolls. And she, she blacked out all the eyes of, of the dolls for her little baby. It was sad. Because a lot of our people are caught up on superstition. All right? This is why you have to be concerned with what Allah says. Allah delivered Quran. That's the revealed word of God, Allah. Hadith is something else. Those are man-made innovations. 
And not saying that all are terrible, but you got to be careful with them. Because Allah says the best hadith is the book of Allah, is the Quran. Okay? So you have a lot of translators who leave this word out. They leave it out. Okay? And you, you're going to see why they leave this word out. Now, sister, could you read? You have a Mulana? Okay, could you read what the translation says Islam. in Surah 15, Ayah 26, Islam? about man and how he created man and what form he made man in. Allah uses the term min sal salim min haman. Haman, Mulana is trying his best, but he's not fully versed in regards to the language and how language is being used in America. Black, according to science, means death. All right, so we're not black people. However, he sees this word Haman, and he understands in his mind this word Haman is a reference to those people who are deep out of you. That's why he translates this word as black, black mud. This word doesn't mean black. Black in Arabic is aswad. Okay, Aswad Hajar is the black stone. Buni, that's brown. But Allah don't say Aswad. Allah doesn't say Buni. Allah says Haman. <laughs> Look at the word. And listen, also in, in Ayah 28, Allah says it again. Allah repeats himself. It says, And when thy Lord said to the Malaika, to the angels, I'm going to create a mortal of sounding clay and black mud, Hamad, okay? Again, Hamad, fashioned into shape, Masnu. Not Majnu, Masnu. Masnu is when you out of your mind, okay? It's a, I'm, I'm going to explain. It's a thin veil between Majnu and Masnu. Okay, but Allah used this. Allah used this word Hamad. That's us. We are the ooh. You on? We are the people of Hamad. What word do you see in this? Ham. Good. Ham. Okay. That's right. That's right. All right. We are the people of Ham. Hamad. And this is very important because this speaks to the melanin in your skin. The word, the ancient word for Egypt, one of the ancient names of Egypt is what? Kemet. Kemet. From Chem. Chem. Ham. Ham. The word chemistry. That's right. It is al. It is, it is Arabic. Alchemy. You see that that prefix al? That's Arabic. Alchemy. You see. You see. Here. Chem. Chem. Alchemia. This is the key ingredient for transformation. And metaphysically, we're talking about a spiritual transformation that occurs within. Islam moves. Islam. This is us. Islam, Brother Woods Hill. Islam. First I rise in the name of Allah, I give an honor to his prophet, Muhammad Ali. I give honor to the forerunner of Marcus Mosaic Darby. I give honor to each and every one of you. Kim will walk with you on the alchemy. If you yes. look at the, the etymology of the word, um, when they use, when 
wow. is used as um, something meaning metals or uh, yeah, metals uh, combined. It. It's, it's called alchemy, and it's an alchemic. Right. That's right. That That's right. That's right. Peace. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I want us to appreciate the fact that Allah, this is how Allah made us. And we got to appreciate that. <laughs> we got to love how we were created. Yet many of our people, they don't love themselves. They seek to alter Allah's creation. Allah created you in his image and after his likeness. And he didn't make any mistakes. So teach our babies to love themselves to have a higher self-esteem. Because Allah made you, Allah created you in divine order, in divine fashion. So when Allah uses these words, I want us to appreciate these words. All right, this is not black. These are the olive-hued people. These are the melanated people. Okay, very important. Now, Back to the instruction where Allah, where the prophet instructions is letting us know that we, as a clean and pure nation, descended from the inhabitants of Africa. Now, who was the first to go into Africa? Old man Kush and his family. Who came next? Kush is the son of Ham. First to go into Africa. Those people. Okay, those Abraham people. Abraham is the son of Noah. Correct. Correct. Okay, so do we have this? We have this point. Okay, praise Allah. Praise Allah. Now, in regards to the European and what occurred, the European comes from you. Okay, comes from you. Listen, but. There is a difference between Asiatics and Europeans. And to get into the fundamental <coughs> manifestation of these differences, you got to contemplate your frame, your makeup, the hundreds of millions of cells in your body. Wow. Within the nucleus of every cell in your body, in the cell, it, it, you can look at it as a bit of information. You are composed of information. In the nucleus of every cell in your body are proteins. Proteins. Chromosomes. Okay? Chromosomes that carry genetic information. A gene is a segment of DNA that is found on the chromosomes. Every cell in your body contains 46 chromosomes. Two sets, one from mom, one from dad, except for the sex organs. The sisters, her eggs, the brothers, the sperm, contains 23. You put those 23 together, creating a child. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Genes are segments of DNA found on the chromosomes. Chromosomes are found on the nucleus of every cell in your body. Mm -hmm. I It is segments of DNA. DNA, deoxyribose, nucleic acid. It is libraries wow. of information. Oh, wow. You know, a lot of these scientists, they're talking about some, oh, most of it is junk DNA. There's no such thing as junk DNA. You simply have not accessed yours fully yet. The ancestors knew this. You see, when you access your whole being, you don't need no 
cell phone, Mo. That's true. You communicating on another level. You don't need no cameras. Everybody got the camera phone. Everybody got the cameras up. You don't need it. You got a photographic memory. That's right. We don't need no airplanes. We don't need no trains. Because you're traveling on another level. Remote viewing is real. It's live on. Talking listen, we're talking about how you are made by Almighty God Allah. DNA is information. Okay? It's inf it's libraries of information. Computer, the computer has nothing on the, the, the human creation by Allah. Nothing on, no comparison. But with the European, you have what is known as genetic mutation. And this is real. I'm not making this stuff up. He knows. They know. We just don't know. And we take the position we don't care. Because we're unconscious. You need to care. That's why you got to study yourself. Uh, a mutation occurs when there is damage. To the DNA gene. And it alters. or changes the message. Carried by the gene. There's a problem with your cells when there's a mutation on board. There's some damage that's done. So this is why you have, you have genes and we talked about this before. SLC 45A2, HERC 2, OCA 2. All of these are genes, gene mutations. OCA2, these are responsible for the lack of melanin. Okay? The hair being different. The eyes being different. And remember, your eyes are connected to your brain. So that, that also deals with how you process information. This is oculo. Cutaneous albinism type 2. Oculo for the eyes, cutaneous skin, albinism type 2. That's what that is. Why do they put type 2? What's the 2 stamp for? It's two variations of the mutation. Oh. You have various variations of genetic mutations. Okay? But this affects the synthesis of melanin. Why does that matter? Matter. That is a key ingredient to the chemical processes in life. Islam, my brother. Beautiful. Islam. Yes. And, and vitamin uh, D. Yes, yes. And uh, it interacts with our mouth in a way that increases our endorphins and makes us actually feel good about ourselves. Correct. Um, the thing is, if you're not in tune to that, you'll 
go outside in the sun and you start feeling like, you know, I'm a king. I'm supposed to, I'm not, yeah, then you start thinking it's hot and now the sun is making you feel bad. So you're at conflict with your with your own genetics. Your, your genetics are telling you you're a king and you, you know, you say stuff and it's supposed to happen. But the negative is telling you it's hot and you're supposed to be lazy and sluggish and different things. So definitely has those effects. And we become at odds with the divine genetic information because of unconsciousness. We're coming into the more science type of America to become conscious. When you are conscious, you are aware. Aware of what, first and foremost, yourself? Islam. Oh, Islam. 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 Yes, it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's loud. Is it okay for more to marry um, like a Chinese, like a Chinese? You know what? I'm going to get there. I'm, I'm going to get there. First, I want to cover why we don't desire to amalgamate with the Pelican nations of Europe. And again, this is not saying we don't have love for them. Right. This is dealing with knowledge of self. Proverbs says we as a clean and pure nation. So if you understand yourself being a clean and pure nation and have a, a little bit of cursory understanding about DNA, genes, genetics, chromosomes, you won't desire to mix with a, a mutated gene sequence. Okay? And I see uh, another point I want to bring out is that there are some who try to say that there's no link between <coughs> between melatonin and melanin. But there is there is a direct link to melatonin and melanin. And this stuff, Morris, I want you to look it up for yourself. You know for yourself. Okay, melanin, melanin, it is, melanin is a, the pigment that gives you your olive, your beautiful olive hue. Right. Melatonin is a hormone that is secreted in the brain. Right. Okay? And this is, we had a whole lesson on emotions and how emotions are an illusion because these are brain signals that are sent to the glands and the glands release a particular hormone into the bloodstream that makes you say, well, I don't feel good to death. Okay? It's nothing but an illusion. Emotions are illusions. And that is dealing with how you process information that is coming in by way of your outer senses. So melatonin, that's a hormone, that's a, uh, a chemical that's released in the source of melatonin. You know, you know what the source of melatonin is? The pineal gland. The pineal gland. You ever heard of the pineal gland? That's associated with the third eye chakra. Rene Descartes talked about the pineal gland being the seat of the soul. Prophet already let, let us know the soul resides in the brain. They're trying to find out exactly where it's at. So it's, it's in the pineal gland, which is in the direct center of the brain, which is related to the pyramid, which is in the direct center of the earth. Holy Prophet taught that the pyramid was a symbolic of eternity. It is the house of rebirth, the second birth. We're born into this world through our mothers, 
through the womb of our mothers, but for the initiated, for the enlightened, the body itself became, becomes a womb for the second rebirth, a spiritual rebirth. The pineal gland is directly associated with pineal. You ever heard of pineal? You know the story of Jacob? Jacob, he met the angel or the stranger. And he wrestled, remember, all night. And he got a blessing. You know what his blessing was, Moors? Holy name. You know what I'm saying? It's Jacob. But he wrestled with the, the stranger all night. Release me. I'm going to release you till I get a blessing. <laughs> I'm giving you a blessing. You shall not be called Jacob no longer. He got his eel. You shall be called Israel. See, that was that occurs when Moors, before they joined the Moors Science Temple of America. There's an internal wrestle. An internal struggle with the higher self and the lower self. When a higher self prevails, you get your blessing. You get your holy name. <laughs> Bays and eels are holy names. And when he got his blessings, he says, I will call this place Pineal because at this place I saw the face of God. Pine, face, eel, God. So at this location, the pineal gland, the pineal gland, that is a source of melatonin being produced, which is directly related to melanin. What do you say that they see the face of God when you can't see God? Almighty God allows within. When you look into the face of man, we're learning how to see the image of Allah speaks within. Behold, a part of Allah himself within thee. Those ayats I gave you to read earlier about Haman, continue to read down further because it talks about how, how Allah created us. It says Allah created us, he fashioned us in the Haman, the creation of Haman. And then he says, he breathed into the nostrils his ruah. Ruah is spirit. That's the perfect part of you. That part of Allah that is in you. All right? So when you, a lot of times when you read a lot of the scripture, it's coded language. It's parables, signs, and symbols. It's like most. It's like